Hey, this is Suzanne Mosley with S4 Books and More, and thanks for coming out today. You can find me on Facebook at Suzanne Shares S4 Books. You can also find me on YouTube at the same place, Suzanne Shares S4 Books. So today, I wanted to make a video for those of you who are like me, those of you that are in classical conversations. This is will be our fifth year in CC, our second round trip through Cycle 2, and I'm so excited about it. Love cycle too. So today uh, I wanted to show you some Usborne titles that will pair well with science. Um, cycle two science for this year. So, um, oh, and just a little disclaimer: these um, are going to be more so for the first six weeks and the last twelve weeks. I'm going to make a, a totally separate video about astronomy resources because Usborne has a lot. Okay. So the first one, this is I love this book. Um, this is the Illustrated Elementary Dictionary. There's some great information here um, about um, food chains, which we learned about this year, food webs, um, decomposers, um, consumers, producers, and then biomes as well. This, I just want to show you pictures inside. This book is obviously geared for elementary students, and this is... An amazing dictionary. It's bright, colorful. It's filled with facts, which, which kids love, um, and it will be a great, uh, just a great resource to have on hand that you can use. Actually, we use this for cycle one as well. Um, so it's a great um, science resource, probably even helpful for those of you that tutor. I used it um, in tutoring last year. Um, so that's Illustrated Elementary Science Dictionary. I'm going to show you um, several um, dictionary encyclopedia type books and I'm doing that on purpose because I want you to see the different levels available so obviously the one I just showed you is definitely for younger and then um, this will be for a second semester of cycle two what's physics all about um, as we learn Newton's laws and forces and um, those kind of things law of thermodynamics this book which is what science all about it includes uh, biology, chemistry, which was helpful for cycle three, and then for cycle two, um, it includes uh, physics. So actually, you could use this with all three cycles, but I just wanted to specifically highlight physics. And honestly, this book was helpful for me as a tutor. Um, so if you have older children, this would be great for them if they want to read more about physics and what we're learning the second semester of Cycle 2 Science, but also just with the different um, science experiments and projects that we did, it was really helpful for me as a tutor because um, I took physics in high school, but that was a long time ago. So great, great, great um, dictionary encyclopedia. And then we have the Usborne uh, Science Encyclopedia. This is wonderful for all three cycles and obviously for Cycle 2 as well. Um, it is internet linked and... Um, so you can look through, um, uh, you can look through and enter the page numbers and, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find the, oh, book you yeah, you can look through the page numbers, enter those on Usborne's website, and then they give you additional videos or additional websites that you can visit that give more information about the topic. So you're not just buying this book, you're buying access to an amazing amount of information along those lines. So this will be helpful for cycle two. There's a whole section on forces and motion. Um, this is such a steal. It's only $19.99 for this huge, gigantic encyclopedia that you can use um, for all three cycles. So love that one. And then just a couple of others, you know, we do talk about biomes in week one. Uh, this Wild Places is a collection of books about, um, it's actually three books in one uh, that were combined, Mountain Jungles and Desert. So I just want to highlight that because it does have a lot of information um, about deserts, Wild Places. That's a fun one. And then this is a wonderful book, Usborne's Mystery and Marvels of Science. Um, it just uh, takes different science topics and... Um, actually, from a secular perspective, it's interesting to even see um, how they even marvel at some things that happen in science. It's really cool. Um, so there is um, a section on force, uh, feeling the force. And then this, again, is just a great, literally, you can read it aloud, and your kids are going to be marveled by it because it, it's uh, really great. So I wanted to just briefly highlight that one. 
And then see inside planet Earth. Uh, we talk about um, types of pollution. So this one um, talks about, some of it is um, cycle one, but as far as, because this is blanket of gases, it talks about atmosphere. Um, but just even geography, it shows all the continents. Um, then there's some information about deserts, which is uh, mountains, which brings in the different biomes. And then it just talks about how our um, planet is changing, it talks about pollution. So that's a, another great one um, to pull in lots of different uh, topics that we'll learn about in Cycle 2. So I hope that's helpful. Make sure to check my YouTube channel, Suzanne Shares Usborne Books. I have a lot of videos um, about uh, Usborne titles that will work well with Cycle, uh, cycle 1, Cycle 2, so lots of classical conversation videos. So definitely check those out as well and also look for the um, Cycle 2 Astronomy video that will have lots of fun space books to explore. So thanks so much and we will be in touch. And if you are a CC family and you're watching this, contact me through my Facebook page, Suzanne Shares Usborne Books, and I'm have a little surprise for you and it might have something to do with free shipping. Okay, talk to you soon.